things that she had done. And when I realized I was the same female, I was just like, oh, this is some bull crap. She even stated to me that maybe you should pray for her. And when she said that, I was like, oh, baby, no. <laughs> okay, no. I hate both of you guys, okay? I wish both of you guys are sent to hell. I'm sure a lot of us have been in situations where we thought we would never forgive someone that wronged us. Or even now, you're probably watching this video and you're probably holding on to something that someone did to you months or even years ago. And I'm not here to say that your feelings are invalid at all whatsoever, but to say that you have every right to feel how you feel. But it comes to a point where you have to learn to just forgive and just let it go. Even for the things that you thought you'd never be able to forgive someone for. I'm Kayla Brienne and I make lifestyle mom and christian content so if you are new here welcome and if you are not new here then welcome back welcome back welcome back or whatever don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when i post other videos and also go ahead and go check out all the other videos that i do have but with that being said let's just go ahead and jump right into this video at matthew 18 verse 21 through 35 jesus states to peter that we are to forgive people 77 times and then went into the story of the servant being forgiven of his debts and when he ran into a servant of his as well that was in the same situation that that servant was previously in but was forgiven he did not forgive and give that same mercy to that servant so the other servant saw what that servant had did and went and told the master that had forgiven the servant of his debt and when the master found this out he went and threw that servant in jail for the debt that he originally had canceled and basically forgave him for and called him wicked because how are you going to throw someone in jail and basically not have mercy on them at all when I had that same mercy on you for the same debt that you had. So in Matthew 18 verse 35, right at the end of the scripture, it goes into Jesus talking about how this is how our heavenly father will treat us if we do not forgive our brother or sister from our heart. Even in Matthew chapter six, verse 14 through 15, it states that we should forgive people that sin against us if we want our heavenly father to forgive us of our sins as well. And we sin every day. So we need his forgiveness. We most definitely do. So we need to also extend that same grace that God gives us to other people as hard and challenging as it may be we have to extend that same grace and forgive others i came across this tiktok video not too long ago about this woman explaining how she took her husband back that cheated on her and basically left her in the time of her being pregnant everyone had their own comments to say because she was stating i guess god put them together and all this extra stuff people were commenting okay let me just state that i went ahead and commented as well usually i'm not really a big commenter unless i really feel like i should a comment but i went ahead and commented and stated that yes we should forgive people that do us dirty and wrong at our lowest times we should still forgive them but that doesn't necessarily mean that we should accept them back into our lives so of course i got some comments back replying to my comment stating well my ex-husband tried to kill me and my ex did this my ex did that and i shouldn't have to forgive at all so i commented back with scripture backing up what i stated saying that god wants us to forgive god commands us to forgive so we need to forgive other people just as god forgave us and i'm gonna assume Assume that she does not believe in God simply for the fact that she put God in quotes. Her reply back to me stating, so I should forgive other people because God told us to forgive. So I'm gonna assume, like I said, that she does not believe in God. But like I said back to her, yes, as hard as it may be, it's gonna take time. You're not just gonna look at somebody and be like, okay, yeah, I forgive you. Because is it sincere or are you gonna hold on to it and still be bitter and throw jabs when you get a chance? And like I told her, holding on to unforgiveness is only gonna cause you to be bitter. She stated that she's not bitter, but the way she was responding to stuff, you sound bitter and you sound like you still need to heal and have God help you to forgive that person. Because I'm not about to sit here and say that you can forgive people that have done the worst of the worst to you without God. And people hate for God to be brought up in certain situations or conversations and I keep seeing that over social media. God is in everything. Without God, there are things that I would not have been able to forgive anyone for or this specific person for and I will dive deeper so y'all can understand the extent of we should forgive okay <laughs> like we should just forgive what people fail to realize is forgiveness is not necessarily for that person mainly just for us because you don't even have to tell that person God forgave you you can just go on with your life have God work on you forgive that person and move on and be like I forgave them I'm gonna let it go and let God have it when I experienced my ex cheating on me when I was pregnant I I went through a lot of different emotions, okay? I went through so many 
different emotions, especially being pregnant. I hated him. Like when I tell you I hated him, I hated him. I hated the female because of prior things that she had done. And when I realized I was the same female, I was just like, oh, this is some bull crap. I hate both of you guys. Okay, I wish both of you guys are sent to hell. I know that sounds bad, but that is truly how I feel. And I'm not, I'm not about to sit here and sugarcoat it and make it seem like I'm just this perfect little angel. In that moment, and during the time of me healing, I don't know how long it took me to truly heal. I had to go into prayer. At the time, like probably that same day, I did not go into prayer when I found out and caught it, caught the situation. But probably like the next day, the day after that, I went into prayer. I was journaling. I was explaining to God how hurt I was from that situation and how I need him to heal me from it and all this extra stuff. But again, I could not forgive him or her on my own. Having the right people around you as well also helps with your process of forgiving and letting it go. But me having my sister that is a child of God as well, she even stated to me that maybe you should pray for her. And when she said that, I was like, oh, baby, no. Okay, no, not happening. I'm not about to pray for her. Why would I pray for someone that's willingly and purposely slept with my, my ex? That is wrong. Like I was praying for God to help me forgive my child's father, but her, I was like, she, she's dead to me. Okay, I don't care. But then I was like, okay, once that pride and all that anger went away, I did have to just be like, okay, let me pray for her. Let me pray for her. Maybe she wasn't brought up right or whatever. Had to pray for him. Had to pray for myself. Afterwards, I was able to fully be like, I am healed. And I was not healed by my own power. I was healed because God allowed me to accept. That's not the word I'm looking for. What's the word? God allowed me to just be in my sadness for a moment, but I wasn't alone in my sadness. He was right there during everything. And he was right there after the fact of once uh, all the other drama started taking place after that situation. So God never left me. And that's what I'm saying. Like forgiveness is not for the other person. Me telling the girl, I didn't tell her, but me telling the girl or me telling my ex yeah, I forgive you. What is that gonna do? They probably not gonna care. They not gonna care. But I was carrying that bitterness. I was bitter. I was angry. I was ready to. I was, I was ready to do some stuff. But and you can feel that heaviness on you when you are just carrying load of hate and load of anger on you. You no one wants to carry that. Okay, people can look at you and see that you are going through something. I don't want nobody to look at me and be like, "Dang, she going through something." What is she going through? No, I want them to see light light of jesus beaming through me that is what i want them to see again none of this happened overnight me praying for her me praying for him it, it, it did not happen overnight it took some months for me to fully forgive almost probably a year to fully forgive him and that is what i'm trying to state even though i forgave him we could have just ended it the there which we should have we weren't even meant to be together in the first place god did not place us together it even states in his word what well, god puts together let no man tear apart i don't know if that's word for word i'll put it on the screen i'll put the scripture on the screen it, it wasn't meant to be but the fact that it did take some time for me to heal for me to forgive god was right there through every part of my healing and so on and down the line sometimes certain things that we go through is to help someone else i know that sounds very crazy if it wasn't for me getting cheated on i wouldn't be able to help a ex friend of mine get through her breakup as well she had got cheated on and if i would have been still angry still bitter still the same person i was when i did get cheated on then i would have told her to react in a very toxic crazy and ungodly manner and both of us are women of god so it's like we shouldn't be behaving like that we should not be acting like that our actions should align with god's word so let's forgive but let god heal us at the same time so i was able to tell her you know the process like you have every right to be angry. You have every right to be hurt. Someone betrayed you, betrayed your trust. Now, just because you forgive, again, that does not mean that you have to let them back into your life. None, I never said that. They can still kick rocks. Forgive them and move on. If it wasn't for me having God in my life, I would not have known how to console a friend that went through something that I also went through. That is the only way, the only proper way to console someone is by having God in the midst of it, in the middle of it, because he knows us better than anybody. He knows that person that's going through that issue better than anybody. So I do not like when I see on social media people saying how when it comes to this situation going on, we should just leave God out of it. If I'm trying to get advice, if I'm trying to get this, if I'm, if I'm sat 
we should leave God out of it. No, we should really bring him in because he is the only reason I'm giving you this solid advice because if from a fleshy perspective, I'm going to tell you to do something from a fleshly perspective and we don't need that because you like your freedom, right? So it's just, let's put God into it and keep God in our lives. That's all I'm saying. Even if we dive a little bit into Matthew chapter five, God has given us the blueprints on how to treat people that are evil to us and wrong us. But if you don't read his word for yourself, you won't know how to treat these people that are evil to us and that wrong us. So let's dive into it just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. So in chapter five, verse 38 through 42, it is telling us not to repay someone with the same evil or the same thing that they have done to us, but to actually give them love in return of the evil that they actually gave to us. To someone that is on their walk with Christ and new to Christ, they're gonna be like, no, eye for an eye. No, God said, give them love after they did wrong you. So we gotta do it. As hard and challenging as it may be because our flesh wants to give back to somebody well god you can do all things to christ so give them love back and god will handle them god don't play by his children so understand that and i know for facts he don't play about me so he don't play about you either so he got it let him handle it in matthew chapter 5 verse 43 through 48 it is stating that we shall love our enemies because it's easy to love someone that loves you but the challenge comes into play when we are loving people that have wronged us does not love us back or anything healing is a process it takes time whether it may be weeks months years depending on the person it, it, you never know how long it may take but with god helping you heal you're going to heal properly you're going to heal how you need to truly heal you're going to be in his word you're going to be praying you're going to be healing properly not healing and, and doing all this extra stuff that people do worldly to try to heal themselves because that's not healing either you're just trying to Put a dang band-aid on a wound that you need surgery on that's not gonna freaking work it's just not gonna work so if you are experiencing some type of heartbreak or a friendship breakup or someone that really hurts you you know sa or if y'all know what i mean sa anything that has been detrimental to your mental and emotional health that you feel like i can never forgive that person for invite god into your healing because that's what he wants he wants us to turn to him for the littlest things and for the biggest things that we have going on in our lives because he is the only one that can navigate us through it properly and in the right way without us getting ourselves in a deeper and deeper hole when it comes to our healing and once you fully heal just compare how you felt carrying that anger that bitterness and that hatred in your heart and compare it to how lighthearted you feel how much love you're filled with when you give it to god and allow god to heal you in that process i do hope this video helps someone that is going through something that i either experienced or even worse in your life that you experience but this video allows you to turn to god how you need to turn to god and invite him into your life because without him you are not going to heal properly I'm I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you you will not heal properly without god and you will not be forgiven if you do not forgive those people that have wronged you even though it may hurt of what they did but you have to forgive it's going to be a process but with god and i'm gonna keep reiterating that he will take it he's gonna heal you he's gonna pick you up he's gonna be there at your lowest because he loves you he loves all of us so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also turn on your post notifications so you can know if i want to do post a new video and also comment down below other videos you guys want to see whether it's christian related content or lifestyle content mom content just let me know in the comments below and i'll be happy to do them and i will see you guys in my next video.